Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. Okay. I have gotten this card a lot, this particular upload. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess, or the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Okay, haven't seen this card in a while. So some of you may be in a relationship with this person. This could have been a relationship. Um, this could also be a situationship. So the type of cards that are coming out right now, I am sensing that um, some of you are resonating, are going to resonate with these cards as your own cards, as your own feelings and emotions. So that is possible. We also mirror the other person, um, our person of interest. We can also pick up on their energy as well. Okay. Also, this could be simply just somebody that you've exchanged glances with more than a few times, and you know that there's something special, but uh, nobody's saying anything. All right. The first card is the strongest. We have here selfhood, followed by grief, responsibility. Then we have cycles, crisis, pleasure. Then we have awakening, centering, and then we have change under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you, Scorpio, what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Scorpio, you have changed. You are no longer the same as you used to be. Things are quite different now. I see you now as somebody who is very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliance. But I also see you as being defensive. You put up some boundaries. You are no longer the same. You are no longer giving as you used to be. But I also see this as an issue for myself because I don't know who you are anymore. You are now like a mystery to me. The feeling that I get now when I look at you is a sense of confusion and regret because the flame that used to once burn so brightly now does not exist. It has extinguished. I also feel that in this connection there has been this sadness, remorse, regret. This feeling that I have, I feel guilty. Guilty for certain things that I've said and done. For certain things that I should have said and I should have done, but I just never did. And now I grieve and I'm afraid that I'm going to lose you. I hold you high in this dark sky and you are that one star. And God forbid if you fade away, my world will end up in darkness. And I grieve for you because I know and I sense the value of you now. Whereas before, I never really did. I want to be 
the person that can take responsibility now. I want to be more responsible. Certain things I have said and done that were not right. Certain things I should have said and should have done that I never did. I want to take responsibility for the things that happened in the past. And I want to make things right going forward. I can't stop thinking about all that happened between us back then. It goes over and over again in a circle, round and round it goes in my mind constantly, repeating. I also feel that this is very much a crisis. I am in a situation where there's this mode of crisis. There's a lot of mental anguish, impatience, an obsession. I'm overwhelmed with the feelings and emotions that I'm feeling right now. I don't know how to sort these things out. So I do need some time to stay away. I need a little bit of time to think about certain things. It is difficult for me to focus. I usually would be able to, but for some strange reason I just can't. Because I am overwhelmed with the feelings and emotions that I have inside for you. And there is so much pleasure that I have experienced, that I've gained from this connection. The pleasure has been spiritual in nature as well as physical. And I have realized now that I see things from your perspective. I never saw things like that before. But now I put myself into your shoes and I see through your eyes what all it is that you have suffered. The things that you kept inside your heart so silent. I'm realizing this now. And I also am starting to see that you and I have a spiritual connection. You are the center of my world, that, that epicenter, and you also know how to make me feel very balanced. I feel so balanced. I also feel that you and I have this perfect connection like the yin and the yang like the moon and the sun and perfect harmony it dances, it comes and goes I do hope and wish for a change I feel that it is important to make a change things need to be different things can no longer be the same It's only me, and I have to be the one who's going to make this change happen. I want it swift. I want it fast. Because I'm afraid that I'm losing you. All right, Scorpio. Wow. You have a lot of serious cards. It's a very serious reading. Um, a lot of guilt. A lot of depression. And there's various types of depression, various grades and levels. Um, this person is obsessing over the fact that they have not treated you nicely. And their feelings that they have for you has come to the point where it's just overwhelming for them. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. I also have here the Lover's Path Tarot.
So this is something that may have happened in this connection that caused the problem in the first place. Something perhaps that you are unaware of. Here we have grace. And then we have power. All right, both are major arcana. So with grace, what happened in this connection when things started to go downhill, started to turn a bit sour, this person was not following their bliss. There was a sense of insecurities. The feelings they had were of unworthiness. They were not feeling worthy. They were also ignoring their intuition. So there were certain things that happened in this connection where you know, things could have changed, right? But this person was denying it. They were not listening to what their heart said. Now, sometimes this happens because of the circumstances that we are in. Even if we know something may make us happy, we might not do it because of the situation that we're in. Unfortunately, I see that here with the next card, Power. The Power card is a very strong card. Let's just have a look where that is. Sorry, give me a moment. This is not an alphabetical order. Okay, here you go. Here you are. This person is oppressed by another person's authority and power. The second, again, the, the word insecurity is here. So twice this has happened. Insecure. There's passive aggression. And somebody here is using power to manipulate others for personal gain. Now, this could be that this person manipulated you for their personal gain, or it could mean somebody's manipulating them for their personal gain. It could also be that somebody hurt them and they hurt you. Just because hurt people hurt people. They don't know what else to do. They think that's normal. That's just the way certain attitudes become. People are molded by the circumstances and the situations that they go through throughout their entire lives. They turn into different types of people, and it's each lesson each experience that turns them into what they are. This is something that happened here. Unfortunately, this person is under the thumb and under the rule of somebody else or some type of situation. This could also be job related, some type of job that restricts this person from going somewhere else. It might even be health related. Maybe their health is so bad that they can't actually move to a certain area because there's no facilities to help them. There's so many things that can prevent a person from being in a certain place. This person has not followed their bliss. They have not followed what it is that makes them happy because of some external issues and external restrictions. That is what is going on here. So you may have thought that this was you. No, Scorpio. This was not you. This was literally them. You know when people say, it's not you, it's me? This is exactly it. This is not you. This is them. For some of you, maybe this person would have said that. Some of you, I'm hearing that this person said, I can't be with you. You asked the question why, and they just said, I can't be with you. They didn't really give you a reason. But they're sad. They're sad. They have a frown. Their brows very sad. I see that. I'm seeing that right now. Um, there's just a whole lot of sadness. And it's because there's some thing or somebody or some organization that's restricting this person. So take it as it resonates. It's not you. There's truly nothing you can do to make the situation better because this person has to deal with it. This, is, this has something to do with them and their life. All right, let's have a look. So 
So these are, well, this is the Beginner's Tarot deck. Any intentions, any plans, any actions that this person may take <laughs> towards you. Good God. Look at that. Got a lot going on here. You got this you got the world card, okay? Then you got the sun card. Yes. Then you got the wheel of fortune card. Yes. <laughs> Then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So-so. Mm, then you have the Five of Wands. Boo. Not so great. We have here the Nine of Pentacles under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. Like, honestly, this is so beautiful, right? Why did this have to ruin the whole thing? So what happened here is the World card. This person... So there may actually be a lot of differences between you and this person. Beliefs, right? The beliefs card. Um, there could be a lot of issues that are keeping you both at a distance. And what I'm seeing here is there could be cultural difference between the both of you. There could also be literally physical distance between the both of you, like a, quite a bit of distance. And the thing is that this person wants to close that gap. They don't want that anymore. They don't want to be distant from you. So they want to close the gap. They want to be close to you. They don't want to be far away anymore. Why is that? Because of the next card, the sun card. There's a lot of love here, a lot of feelings. This talks a lot about having that understanding that there's something unique, there's hopefulness, there's joy, there's prosperity, abundance, there's opportunities. This talks about love in every way, positivity in every way, everything that's under the sun. This is something that talks about true love and it is pure, it is sweet. We also have here the Wheel of Fortune. So, yes, this person has wished for you they have actually tried to manifest you into their life and what's happened here is that this person has this kind of belief that someday some way we will meet again they truly believe this in their heart and this is what they're hoping for this is what they're praying for then we have the seven of pentacles now they know what to do they know how to do it but they just don't know when to do it. That's the problem. So this person will be thinking long and hard about this. They're going to think. They're going to put their mind right to it. And they'll know it when they see it. They're not going to make any move before the time, before the time that they think is right. They will know when things are right. But they're not going to do it anytime soon. Here we also have Five of Wands. Again, external energy from external people. People that are causing problems in this connection on some level. This person knows what it is that's right and that's wrong. This person is trying to make things right by overcoming this struggle, this distrust, these arguments. This also talks about people that are interfering in this person's life as well as yours, preventing you both from being together. Could be somebody creating rumors. It could also be somebody simply jealous. It could be a bunch of people. And this does, you know, it's five, right? So there are, there could be more than, more than one person. Um, this could also be like a society, an organization where somebody, it may be a conflict of interest, right? Um, that happens too. Sometimes it's very difficult. I know one couple, they actually uh, were working for rival companies, which was hilarious. They both fell in love with each other <laughs> and they literally had to quit their jobs in order to be with one another because it was a conflict of interest. They themselves quit their jobs because they didn't want to you know, get fired or lose their jobs in that way. So they tried to do it in an in a easy kind of way for themselves. But oh my goodness, 
you know, certain situations occur where there's just so much struggle. It's not easy. So here we also have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is the selfhood card. It talks about how she's thriving. This person, this is you, or this is the other person. Um, this, th this is them seeing you, okay? So they do see you as somebody who is independent. You don't need anybody. You are just... I mean, you're good where you are right now, and it's hard to approach you because you look very intimidating. This person, when they left, at some point in time, they thought that things could be different. Maybe they could get together with you. Now they see that you've changed. This change, they do like it, but then they also are a little afraid of it because they feel that it's too much of a change. You've completely changed. They don't recognize you anymore, and therefore getting back into your life may be difficult for this person. So, Scorpio, do I see any action here? I do. Yes, I do. Despite what the world says, despite what the people say, or what the organizations say, this person is going to want to be with you. They're going to make the effort. However, the one thing is, Scorpio, they just don't know when they're going to do it. They have to be clever about this situation. They have to be clever. Please let me know, how is this resonating for some of you? You know, is it a person? Is it a bunch of people? Is it a society? Is it a group? Is it an organization where this person's working? Sometimes I do have um, the military where there's a restriction from being from one place to the other. You can't just get a transfer because you got a crush on the other person on the other side of the country, you know? Like, it doesn't happen like that. Um, so there are certain restrictions, for sure. Um, let me know if any of this has resonated with you. Because that is quite a unique spread. All right, just going to do a quick prayer. Hmm. We have no. Okay, first I'm going to just... Holy smokes. <laughs> um, clarify the no, but then both came out. This doesn't make sense because now this is a yes. Okay, listen, I'm just going to tell you that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, shuffle these again, okay? There's reconsider, no, and yes. Whoever understands that, <laughs> give it a shot. I'm going to just redo this, okay? That was too confusing for me. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So perhaps I'll be able to give a, a message that might make sense to me. He's, holy shit, man. Look at these people. <sighs> okay. Archangel Michael, I hear his voice right now. It is what it is. It is what it is and is what we say. <laughs> okay, buddy boy. All right. That's what he's saying. You see, I shuffled this stuff, people, and now you got no again. And then you have reconsidered. So, okay. At least we know this. No. Reconsider what it is that you're going to say and do. Okay. I talked to Archangels Michael Raphael. Gabriel as if they're like friends. I mean they are friends. For me they are. <coughs> Which is kind of weird because my angel guy tells me that I'm a <clears throat> I'm a throne angel. <coughs> my um my soul. My body, however, <coughs> breaking down here. Um just give me one second, I gotta drink some water. I sound so uncivilized right now. Okay. <sighs> yes. So sometimes when I do talk um, to the angels, <clears throat> there's a strange type of feeling like I do kind of know them. And I have known them for a long time. But um, the way they talk to me is very friendly. It's like, it's like casual friendship type of talk. Um, so when I respond to them, that's how I talk to Hmm. 
these make more sense. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Okay. Very, very nice. You see, now this makes sense to me. All right. We have here that some of you may think that you might not need to reconsider what it is that you are going to say or do in this connection. They are saying no. It's important for you to reconsider. Some of you out there, just a few of you, might feel that you've been there, done that, and you know this person very well. The thing is that you don't because you're supposed to get more information about this person. You have that card right there. There are certain things in this, conne in this connection that you are unaware of and they are saying for you to wait, get more information because this is a spiritually based romantic connection, meaning you are either twin flame, soulmates, karmic partners, or a few other types of spiritual connections. Either way, this is a spiritually bound connection and some of us do only meet in what we would call the spiritual realm or maybe the 5D but not the 3D. For some of you it might not 100% work out. However, the indications here are that there is going to be something different in relation to this connection and it's going to be positive. We, we do have here wait, so it is important for you to wait. Remember with the Seven of Pentacles, this person is trying to see where this goes, right? They themselves are waiting. Eventually, there's going to be a peaceful resolution. The resolution that you'll have will be peaceful because with all of uh, the bickering of everybody else around you, maybe you guys did get into an argument, some of you. You may have gotten into, you know, a, a hidden Cold War type of thing. Um, you know, just cold shoulder, right? Just not talking, but you know there's something there. Um, there will be a peaceful resolution. This is really good. We also have here, they're telling you to choose a new direction. This also means to choo choose a different approach to the situation and you will receive a different result. Your method, your messages and your methods, your techniques, your behavior, your habits may be the same something might not be resonating with this person. So change things up a bit. Choose a different approach, meaning choose a different direction. Now this also means that the destination, for example, the target, right, may be the same. The destination may be the same. However, the route and the road and the, you know, way of getting there, um, the mode of transportation, transportation, even the, the path that you're going to be following, that might be different, but the destination will still be the same. The end result will still be the same. So there are different ways of getting what it is that you want, but you just have to try in a different way. So if you've been behaving or acting or questioning this person in a certain way, or you're always trying one particular thing, your behavior might need to change. Your approach might need to change in order to get a different result. If you do the same thing, you're going to get the same result. If you do something slightly different, your result will also be slightly different. Here we also have you are ready. So with the card, with the card you are ready, this does talk about how in this connection, there's a certain amount of energy that's being put in. And it does say that you yourself are now ready to be able to handle this connection emotionally, spiritually, and physically, you're ready. Now, remember, you are ready, but is this person ready? No, they are not. That's why they're telling you to wait. Here we also have big, happy changes. These are changes. They're big, and you're going to be happy about it. Sounds good. <laughs> Um, this is under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. So um, it is a very impactful kind of card. So this does talk about overall as under the bottom of the deck, this is like an umbrella that covers everything up. So eventually, even when you reconsider a decision, it's going to be 
something big, you're going to be happy about it. Getting more information, you most likely are going to be happy that you've received that information. The peaceful resolution when you communicate with this person will make you happy in your heart. And yes, choosing a new direction and trying to do something slightly differently will also make you feel very happy. So ultimately, Scorpio, this is a nice reading. I do like this. And it does make, um, does make sense to me. There's a lot of good cards here, actually. You know, there may be a little bit of struggle here um, in terms of somebody else, you know, putting, putting their foot or being a thorn on someone's side. That's what it is. A third wheel, I think they call it. Or a thorn on someone's side. All right, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in to the channel, for your support, your encouragement. I would never have been able to get my check mark. I got a check mark. I got a special check mark now. I am verified on YouTube. I didn't know that until my niece told me. <laughs> she, um, she's not too young. She's like, she's about 22, 23. Um, so she told me about it. I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm pretty old school. And so she told me, and um, it turns out, yeah, I was, uh, I didn't know. So I'll be, uh, I'll be one of those people that's, uh, I guess, you know, the influencers. I've been that for a while now, but this is not truly what I was imagining. You know, I just wanted to help people because I have this, this gift. And um, I thought that, you know, this is something small for me. Right in the beginning, I was very happy, even if I got five views. <laughs> I'm not joking. I would... Oh my God, I would tell my mom, I was like, oh my goodness, look, people are actually listening. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is amazing. And I could not have done this. This is all because of you guys. You guys really do, you know, have faith in my abilities. You are so encouraging. Thank you for your support. And um, just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for all of that. All right, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below if any of this resonated with you. I will see you guys again. You guys take care and stay safe. Bye now.